Hi, on the SAT, you're going to see problems that have to do with mean, median, and mode. So in this video, we're going to go over uh, the definitions of mean, median, and mode and how to calculate them. And then I've got six problems picked out from the official SAT practice test that have to do with mean, median, and mode that we're going to go over as well. Let's take a look. Okay, let's first take a look at mean. Uh, the mean is going to be the same as the average. So if we're going to take the sum of the elements and divide it by the number of the elements, the count of the elements. So if we had, had the mean of this uh, group of numbers, we would take and add the numbers up and get 180. And then there's five numbers here. So we go 180 divided by 5. And we get an average of 36 or a mean of 36 for this group of numbers. Next, let's take a look at median. The median is simply going to be the middle number. When we take all the numbers and put them in order, the middle number is going to be the median. So half the numbers are going to be less than the median, and half the numbers are going to be greater than the median. So we wanted to find a median of this list of numbers. We could take and rearrange the numbers in order. Uh, makes it a lot easier to see what the middle number is. And then the middle number for this num for this group of numbers is just going to be 67. Now sometimes we're going to have an even number of elements. So if we were to take and rearrange these numbers and then look for the middle number, there is no one single number in the middle. We've got 44 and 57 both in the middle. So in a case like this, we just have to take those two numbers and then take the average of those two numbers. So we're going to take 44 and 57, add them up and divide by 2. That's the number that's halfway in between 44 and 57. And that's going to get us our median of 50.5. And then the last item is just the mode. The mode is just simply the most frequently occurring number. So if you look at these numbers here, um, you can look at them and see that 15 occurs most often. When you have a very long list of numbers, it might help to put them in order. Uh, that way all the numbers are going to be next to each other. So you can take a look here and see that 15 occurs three times, 18 occurs twice, uh, 11 occurs once. So 15 here is going to be the mode, the most frequently occurring number. Okay, let's take a look at these sample problems that have to do with mean, median, and mode. So on the first problem, we've got a survey here asking how many siblings uh, students have. So it's either 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. And this is the count at two different schools of how many students have those number of siblings. Uh, first thing we want to do is add the two schools together. So we're going to get 260, have no siblings, 190, 90, 40, and 20. So if we take a look at that, the total number, if we add that up, the total number is 600. So we're trying to find the median. So the median is going to be the middle number. So if we've got 600, we're trying to find the 300th element, which is going to fall somewhere in here. We've got 260, and then after that, we have 40 more, so it's going to fall in here, and we're going to have one sibling. So one is going to be the median. Okay, on the second problem, we've got eight players. We've got a mean of 14.5 points. Now we're going to take out one score. We're going to take out the highest score, and the remaining seven players can have an average of 12 points. So the best way to do this is take a look at the total. So with the eight players, we've got eight times 14.5. So the total number of points scored is going to be 116. Now if we remove one and we get an average of 12, for seven players, seven times 12 is going to get us 84. So that's the total of eight, all eight, that's the total when one is removed seven. So we can just simply subtract the two 
and we get 32. So the score that was removed must have been 32. Okay, so here we're given four elements um, and we want to find the fifth. It tells us that the mean is 1600 and here's the first four elements and we want to find the last one. I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do this. Um, one thing we could do is just take a look at what the total is so far and what the total needs to be uh, and figure out what that extra number needs to be. So if there's five elements times an average of 1600 that means those five elements need to add up to 8,000. And what do we have so far? We could add up to 700, 1,200, 1,600, and 2,000. We add those up so far, we have 5,500. And then we just subtract this two and get 2,500. So that last element must have been 2,500. Now another way to look at this is it just so happens that they give you a distribution that is evenly distributed. The mean is 1600, so this middle is the mean. So in order to get the average, we should have the same number um, to the left of the average and the right of the average if one of the numbers is the average. So 1600 to 1200 is um, down by 400, and this is a difference of 900. So in the same direction, I mean the opposite direction, we've got 400 and 900. So we could have just taken the 1600, add 900 to it, and that's another way to get 2500 as well. Okay, so in this problem we have um, counts of ages. So we've got six students that are 18, five that are 19, four that are 20, etc. What we're trying to do is put in order the mode, the median, and the mean. So let's take a look at how we would figure each of those. The mode is going to be the most frequent. So six is the highest frequency, so the mode is just going to be 18. Now we know that if that's the lowest value, we know that the median and the mean are going to be higher than that. Um, so we know that these two can be canceled out. The mode's going to be the lowest. So now it's just a matter of figuring out which is um, higher, the median or the mean. So let's take a look here. We have 20 elements. If we add up those frequencies, we've got 20 elements. So to figure out the mean, which is the middle, it's going to be somewhere around the 10th element which is going to fall in this area because we've got six and then another four it's going to put us here so the um, the median is then going to be 19. The mean is going to be the hardest to calculate um, so we could take a look at the distribution and say this is um, a distribution that is counted as skewed to the right. Notice we've got um, most of the data is around here, but then we've got a long tail to the right. So this is going to look, um, this data is going to look something like this, where it's got a tail to the right. That's called skewed to the right. So if, when we have something that's skewed to the right, typically the mean is higher than the median. So that's one way to look at it quickly. Um, we could also do the math out as well. So let's do the math out, but with that, we would say that, that A is going to be our answer because it looks like the mean is going to be greater than the median because it's skewed right. But without that, we can calculate by looking at um, the totals. So if we've got 6 at age 18, we can multiply those, get 108. 5 times 19 is 95. 4 times 20 is 80. 42, 22, 23, and 30 gets us an overall average of 400. And then we're not dividing by 7, right? Don't go and divide by 7. We have to do the total count. So the total count is 20. So to get the mean, we're going to go 400 
divided by 20 and get 20. And so the order is going to be the mode, then the median, then the mean, which is answer A. All right, in this last problem, we can score between 0 and 100 on a rating. So we have the first 10, we have a mean of 75. We want to find out what the least value of the 11th one can be. And we want to do a, a mean of 85 for all 20. So first of all, let's figure out what the total score needs to be for all 20 ratings. So 85 times 20, if the average has to be 85, 85 times 20 or 1700 has to be the overall total. The first 10, right, so the first 10, we had an average of 75 for the first 10 ratings, so that has to be 750 in order to get an average 75. The 11th one, that's what we're trying to figure out, what this can be. And then the next nine, number 12 through 20, the most they can be is a score of 100. That's the highest score. So we could get 900 as a total there. So if we add these up, we've got 1650 between the first 10 and the most that we can get on the last nine. So we could get a total of 1650. So that means in order to get an average of 1700, this would have to be at least 50 to get a 1700. So the answer here is going to be 50. Thanks for watching, and if you have an SAT coming up, good luck. I'm going to continue to add SAT material, so if you'd like to subscribe right up here, you can get notification of when new material comes out, and I've got some more stuff for you to watch right here. Thanks again for watching and please come back soon.